house in the southeast part of the Mon Highlands. That's where you were born! Hey! Relax! Elise, help me! Hey guys, welcome back to Tales of Exilia. So last episode was, um... Hang on, my cord is tangled very badly. Last episode, we did some side quests, and we're going to continue doing that this episode to prepare for stuff and stuff and stuff. So, uh, where are we right now? The Royal Hunting Grounds. That's right. Uh, let's head out. If, oh, this way. All right, so I'm going to be going off of places. We will eventually go to Fort Gandala. Um... I didn't do anything off screen, so everything's still the same. I might update weapons again uh, eventually. But as for right now, uh, I will see you guys in the next place. Alright guys, here is Wingle. Wingle? I had heard you'd been sent to the other world. So you found your way home after all. Wingle, there's something I would like to ask you. Am I correct in my understanding that you led Ajul's armies at Fezabel Marsh? Using boosters to move through the marsh was a brilliant strategy. Are you mocking me? That strategy played right into Gillen's hands. You aren't the only one who failed to see through Gillen's facade. I share the same shame. I didn't realize someone who turned his back on his duty had any honor left to lose. Is that what you're doing here? Some sad attempt to return to the battlefield and erase your shame? How can you say that? Don't you make fun of Rowan? He's a great guy for someone who's so old. You were a skilled tactician in your prime, I grant you that. But how much of that skill remains today? Former Chief of Staff Ilbert, care to play a game? A game, you say? A mock battle, using a real military map. But of course I would understand if you were reluctant to see how time has ravaged your talents. You don't need to buy into this. I accept. Then come to the Xylan Woods Temple. This board lets us control data from historic battles and see different ways they might play out. And what battle is this data from? Twenty years ago, on the Fezabel Outback. The Battle of Fezabel. The struggle between the armies of Rashigal and the former king of Ajul. Correct. It was a tragic battle in which both armies suffered heavy casualties from a giant tsunami. It was Ilbert the Conductor's one and only draw. And you wish to recreate that battle now? This is no recreation. If I had led Ajul into battle, we would have won. That is what I will prove here today. Formation Ichthys. All troops advance. The core of the Rashigal army is being pushed back. Left and right troops spread out to the wings. Surround the enemy's vanguard. It's no good. The vanguard is unstoppable. What is this power? That's Gaius's unit. Their first time in battle. You won't surround them so easily. Both wings advance. Circle to the enemy's flank. Planning to launch a counterattack from my flank? Such a boring and predictable response. I'll simply attack while your troops are changing course. This battle will be won before the tsunami hits. The enemy is turning faster than Rashigal. Look out! All troops maintain forward movement. Your goal is the high ground behind the Ajul army. What? Rashigal's army is assembling on the hill. It's over. It is impossible to defeat a defending army on high ground in so short a time. Soon the tsunami will come and engulf the plains. You will have no choice but to retreat. <laughs> and this is what you call a victory? I am satisfied simply not to lose. I see. Thank you for the match, Conductor. We will settle this in a different way. <laughs> Sore loser! You did great, Rowan. It's because I failed in the past. If only I had used this strategy back then. I think it's great you learned from your mistake. You're still growing! 
even at your age. Indeed. And I still have a great deal more growing to do. I may even grow out of these clothes one day. I've never done this before, by the way. I have never done this before. <laughs> so it's the first time for me actually seeing that. I was kind of afraid that I would have to be the one who does that. You know what? Here. Here's your damn food. Okay, uh, what do you want? Um. Hmm. Uh, here. Have that. Enjoy. So shut up, please. But yeah, I've never actually seen that before. Um, I didn't think to come to Canbalar. I just went to the place that I knew. I'm gonna head back to Canbalar and see if there is anything we can do. Um, I'm not sure exactly, um, uh, what else there's to do at this point besides doing the thing for, uh, Lady Drizzle. So I will meet you guys when I have something to do. You gotta be kidding me. I'm just charging what I gotta charge to stay in business. Hey, things are tough for everyone. We can't afford to pay these prices. Hey, hey, let's all calm down. What? You're taking the soldier's side? I can't believe this. Stop it. Carla? Hey, I know you. You're close with his highness. What exactly is your connection to Gaius? He just summons me here sometimes, that's all. I heard he was away, so I came to see if everything was all right. Well, you were certainly right to be concerned. I'm afraid so. With King Gaius and the Chimeriad gone, the domestic stability of Aljul is beginning to unravel. But I still can't believe that things have regressed this far, this quickly. It's simply pathetic. Is it that bad? Clearly, the weak must be tended to, constantly, or they'll disrupt everything. I guess it's too much to ask for everyone to grow strong. It's hopeless. Hold on! Maybe they'll never know what it's like to be as strong as Gaius, but that doesn't make them hopeless. How can you deny it? You see what's happening here. My brother Erston sacrificed his family for these people, and this is what happens? Wait, what? You're Gaius's sister? Yes, you wanted to know Gaius's real name? It's Erston Outway. I believe that my brother forged his philosophy partly as a way to atone for what he did to me. That's why he wanted to be the king. And because of that, I thought I could forgive him. But looking at this, I don't know anymore. If this is what his efforts amounted to, then give me my brother back! Hey, come on. If the guard's undermanned, I can help out. I, I know my way around a sword. But only official soldiers are allowed to fight. Hey, it's obvious we're gonna need some help to get through this. Listen, I'll talk to the other unions about the skyrocketing food prices. But if this situation drags on, things will only get worse. That doesn't mean you can't do anything about it. The boy is right. Forget about what we can't do and let's focus on what we can. Dude. I hate to say it, but I think we have to face the facts. Everything King Gaius did was for naught. Are you sure about that? Lady Carla, we may not be the kind of people that King Gaius would consider strong. But that doesn't mean we can't do for ourselves the same things that he's always done for us. I want to know that I've done everything that I can, so I can hold my head high when King Gaius returns. Thank you, all of you. If the news of my identity spreads, it will only make trouble for King Gaius. We'll probably never see each other again, but I'm glad I was able to meet all of you. Farewell. I suppose we should be going ourselves. Jude, seeing you follow your own path has helped me erase any doubts I had about mine. Maybe that's the same thing Gaius felt when he first met you. I was not expecting to meet her again. 
But okay, uh, I'm gonna check and see if there's anything inside the castle real fast. And if there's not, uh, I will be cutting to uh, the next Elise area for her side quest. So I will see you guys soon. Alright guys, so I'm in the silent cave now. and We just have to find a certain uh, entrance, which it took me forever to find on my first try, so forgive me. I don't exactly remember where it is. I just know that it is somewhere uh, around here. So it's one of those crawl spaces that you have to crawl through in order to get to the actual area. Uh, here we go. I think this is it, actually. Come on. There we go. It should lead us to this area. Yes, it did. Okay, sweet. Um, let's quickly get these items in here. There's just a random lady standing over there, but she will fight us, so I'm going to ignore her as best as I can. Uh, let's see. Sneak past you. Okay, let's head on out to the north branch that we've never seen before. This should be the place Jurgen told us about. But I don't see a house anywhere. It's been 10 years. It could easily have fallen apart by now. Let's try looking around a little bit more. No, this is it. This is where my house used to be. You sure? Elise's flowers! These were in our garden. So your house really was here. It's okay. Thank you, everyone. I feel a lot better now. Tipo, you said these were Elise's flowers? That's what they called them. Couldn't tell you why, though. Jude, what are these flowers really called? Are they native to this area? They look like princessias. Normally, you don't see them in a place like this. Her parents must have planted them back when they still lived here. And don't all flowers have some hidden meaning behind them? Yeah. I can't really help you with these, though. They mean priceless treasure and a long and happy life. This may be a stretch, but these flowers may represent what your parents thought of you, Elise. At least, that's what I'd like to believe. Mother. Father. I'm impressed that you put that together. You shouldn't be. After all, you were the ones who taught me what it means to be human. All right, well, I'm going to change Mila's outfit back to the blue one since we can. Go away, sir. I do not care for you right now. I think this area connects, yeah, it only connects to over there. So there's nothing else here uh, other than items, of course. I can collect those, you know, fun. But I am going to change Mila's outfit back to the blue color because I miss it. And now since she doesn't have the uh, Asperxis anymore, I mean, she has it, just not the stone. Uh, I don't see a point in needing it. So um, once again, I will see you guys in the next area. Or if this is the end of all the side, well, I still have to go to Fort Candala. So there's definitely going to be that. Yeah, I'll see you guys soon, once again. Do you remember when we talked about the edge of the world here? I do. So now we know that Olympus is what lies beyond the edge. Yep. That's right. So a long, long time ago, Maxwell enclosed this world in the schism. And since that time, Maxwell has spared no effort to keep it that way. And it was all to protect the people of Rizomaxia? Correct. But now we're trying to destroy the schism. We're not the first. Over the years, there have been countless adventurers, scientists, and arts experts. A great many humans have devoted their lives to solving the mysteries of the schism. I guess even the great Maxwell couldn't keep up with humanity's boundless curiosity. No, I guess not, but if humans didn't possess such a great curiosity and enthusiasm, would Maxwell have deemed them worthy of protection? I'm just at Lockham Sea Haven right now. You, I believe, uh, yeah, you have that top knock thing that I have no clue what it is. 
Uh, I've just been going around looking for scenes and everything. I think I'm going to head to Fort Gandala next. So, yeah. It's difficult to believe this whole area used to be a dry wasteland. We were taught a great tsunami did this 20 years ago. It was right when the former king of Ajul was leading his army into battle against Rashigal. Wait, Rowan, you were a tactician in that battle, weren't you? Yes, I was. It's hard to believe it's already been so long. This is the place where Princess Carrie died. Noctigal's sister. Even he wouldn't dare to defy her. If she was still alive, Rashigal's history would have turned out quite a bit differently. She must have been a fearsome woman if she could keep Noctigal in check. Quite the opposite. She was a gentle, easygoing soul. Noctigal was always at his kindest around her, but her gentle demeanor masked an indomitable spirit. The meek had no greater ally than her. She even chose to accompany the army as a medic, so that she could save as many lives as possible. A princess working as a medic? She must have been one hell of a woman. Unfortunately, her story did not end happily. Their brothers feared Noctigal would distinguish himself by leading Rashagal to victory. So instead, they revoked his authority to lead the army, just before the battle began. In his place, they sent an incompetent buffoon of a general, who squandered every advantage Rashagal had. Why would they do that? They must have feared Noctigal more than their own enemies. Just as Rashagal was facing defeat, the tsunami came and forced the remnants of both armies to retreat. But Princess Carrie's unit was among the unlucky ones that were caught in the wave. It was a grave error on my part. Amidst the confusion, I didn't notice that her unit was in the path of danger. If I had given her unit clearer orders, Carrie would still be alive. Wait a minute. Were you two together? We were worlds apart in both age and class, but we had pledged our futures to each other. Noctigal was the only one who approved of our union, but that's an old story, and one perhaps best forgotten. I've never seen this one either, because I've never came back to Fezable Marsh. Oh god, okay, well... Still not over our little side questing, so once again, you know, you know the drill by now. Who goes there? What? You say you've got a letter from my daughter? Oh yeah, this is the side quest from the girl in Fenmont, that's right. Dot dot dot. Thank you for taking the time to bring this to me. Would you mind delivering my response to her? Tell her that I can't leave my post without permission. Not even for her mother's death. That is what it means to be a soldier. Wow. That's depressing. Well, let's talk to you again. No. Um, do, 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 do. I'm pretty sure this was the correct way I have to go to get inside it. But, look, another elixir. Um, hmm. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Yeah. I'll go tell her later, don't you worry. Sealed, okay. Never mind, maybe not. Uh, because I can't climb up this. I can get Omega Elixir, though. Alright, I guess back to... Well, actually, let's check the opposite end, then, and see if we can go on that way. I could have sworn that we couldn't go in through this way, but there's a scene, so I guess we can. They're not that hidden. Why would they have guards out if the golems are functional? No one is able to feel fully secure once fear has overtaken them. This should work to our advantage. Perhaps we can convince them to tell us where the boosters are kept. Devious! Do this right and we'll be done in a flash.
You won't deactivate the golems this way, you know. Who said anything about deactivation? We're going to destroy them! You're kidding, right? Jokes were never my strong suit. Uh... Would you be so kind as to tell us where the boosters are kept? They... they should be in control room 02. Do we know where that is? It's a spare control room located opposite from the one we visited earlier. Got it. Let's go. Let's sneak into Fort Gondala and try to find a booster. That seems to be our only hope of defeating the golems. For the sake of time, I might cut till we get to the control room 02. Because this could take a very long time. I mean, there are the golems right there, uh, but we need the boosters, so... I think I... Because I want to get as much done as I possibly can, and I do not want to make this a 40-minute video. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see you guys when, um, find control room 02. Still telling us to pursue guys in music. We'll do that eventually. So, I will see you guys soon. Here we go. Boosters. Ah, this is indeed the same type of booster that was used at Fezabel Marsh. If we can use this to change the spirit climb, the golem's defensive power should plummet. Kind of like a golem inhibitor. Hey, a golem inhibitor! Do you even know what that means? Not a clue. So how do we use it? Leave that to me. Very well. Then let's crush some golems. All right, I'm gonna cut again till... Nope, never mind. The golems should be guarding the gate to the main passageway. Now we shall put an end to them. Okay, I will cut till once we get in front of the golems again. Two golems dead ahead. And two more behind us! Four golems at once. Truly a rock and a hard place. No, it's four birds with one stone. They've saved us the trouble of hunting them down. <laughs> it's impossible to get discouraged with Mila around. Agreed. We're much stronger than we were before. Let's do this! You said it. Rowan. On it. Activating the Golem Inhibitor. Rowan's not even in my party right now. I'm going to quickly give you some orange gels. So you can tell by their uh, their color and all that. I'm going to try and make this a fast battle uh, if possible. Because again, I'm trying to save time. And I think the last thing to do is either visit Balin, which I'm not sure if you can exactly. But visit Balin and get that one letter back to um, yeah, the soldier's daughter. And that should be it. And then we can finish this game. So we're pretty damn close, um, this is pretty much all I wanted to do. There's nothing in Fenmont, uh, at all, so I probably should have put Rowan in to the party, but I didn't think of that. Okay, actually, no, no, I think I'm, I think I'm good. Um, let's just start using our linked arts and then hopefully I can pull off a mystic art here. That should be nice. Thank you, Elise, for that, but now you need to get back to healing. I'm gonna heal myself as well to kind of help with that. Uh, I think I'm, I'm gonna take out the fire golem first. This is, yeah, or the defense golem one, whichever one you want to call it. But since I've already been taking plenty of health from him, might as well, right? Come on, let's get another one done. Good. We're almost to our mist or over limits, like whatever you want to call it. I just don't know my way with words. So yeah, I finally finished my so sculpture, so I was like, you know what, I'm going to get the side quest video done. And that's what I'm doing, so I'm pretty damn happy. I didn't hurt myself again, which is nice and happy and mystic art. I still have to show you guys Milo's mystic art. I'm, I don't exactly know. I might... Like, I don't want to play as her as the final one, or the final battle or whatever, but at the same time, I kind of, her Mystic Art, I think, is a lot better than Jude's. 
But if she just uses the four and everything, of course. Let me heal as much as I possibly can. I hope you're doing something, Alvin, uh, and protecting the least. Where am I? I don't know where I am. <laughs> I got lost. The golems are way too big. Okay, let's build up our meter again. He's almost dead. That's good. Then we can head on to golem number two, and then we will get the other golems coming at us as well. Thankfully, we don't have to face all four at once, because that would be a uh, disaster. Oh, dear. Okay, well. Okay, you know, Mila, you can please um, do something and stop that golem from attacking Elise, please. Distract it. Thank you very much. Uh, how much health do you have? 17,000. Thankfully, they don't have that much health. Uh, you could have done this a long time ago. You know, I just couldn't do anything a long time ago because I advanced the story way too soon. You can get yourself another orange gel. I don't really care. I'll use the big things for Elise whenever she runs out of TP. Are we back? Are we finally at the two? There we go. Oh, no. I tried to do a uh, link dart there, but <laughs> nope. And that's not the link dart I wanted. There we go. Let's get some Igneous Crush going. And hopefully we can take out this one and then we'll be on to the final two. Come on, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh, Jesus. Run away. I'm gonna heal her from this far away. Okay. Oh, God. He's like an airplane in the size of a gigantic golem that doesn't fly people. Ooh, my weapons actually um, are effective against him. That's good. I'm gonna ignore you. And then I'm gonna do another Link Dart. There we go. Two down, guys. We got two down and we have... Okay. Thank you for that. I'm gonna heal myself. Don't worry, guys. I can do this. I don't exactly need to rely on Elise that much. But it's always greatly appreciated. Okay, now is the time where you need a good pineapple gel. So you can gain more TP. Because I don't really care if Alvin runs out. He can still attack pretty well without it. So it's perfectly fine. Have we hit our second one yet? Maybe? Nope. It's starting to go down now because we're being attacked like mad. Come on, wake up, please. Okay. See, or er, Igneous Crush, thank you. So yeah, I finally have my soap sculptures done. I just have to do now my normal homework, uh, which I'm putting off to later tonight. Don't really care, but I'll get it done. I'll, I'll get it done. I'll check this time to make sure I'm doing the proper homework. Please stop it. Please. Please cut it out, okay? I just want to use Mystic Art, okay? That's all I want. I don't really care about you, Golem. You're just going to get destroyed anyway, so please stop knocking everybody out. Oh, God. You know what? Just because this one has far less um, damage taken, let's quickly do this, and I'm going to use my Mystic Art on that. There we go. Sweet. Another one down. Well, he's probably not going to die from this, but... He'll get a good significant amount of damage. I can't talk. Okay, let's head back towards the other golem and finish him off. I don't think it would have finished him off. Um, he would have been pretty close to dying though, so I guess that would have been a plus. But at least we don't have to do as much. God damn it, I'm, no. I'm ignoring you. I don't care about you golems, you're just rude. You're being very rude right now. Are you doing anything, Alvin? Like, I just don't see him doing anything. Oh god. At least he's kind of using guardian field around everybody. Which is nice, so he's kind of helping healing, which is pretty cool. I like in the second game where pretty much everybody has the healing move. At least one, and so they pretty much help you heal. Um, I use... I use... when Because at least, like... Whenever you don't have her. Which you don't have her a lot, I'm just saying that now. I don't know why, because she's the best healer ever, but... I just had to use other people. And it wasn't that bad, actually. They really made that uh, better. 
Um, Leia's definitely better. I don't think she still learns any dispel or recover move, though. I can't remember exactly. Uh, what time is it? 42? Um, I don't know the exact time. God damn it, cut it out, please. Cut it out. I am sick and tired of your shit, Gollum. I hate how everything pretty much knocks you out, and it's kind of annoying. Okay, let's use this. How much health do you have? 5,000? Okay, we're gonna end this. We're gonna end this fair and square, and then I'm gonna go do that final thing. Um, I might actually not visit Balin. Uh, for time's sake. Like I said, I'm no goddamn. Okay, well, you, I'm just going to have you life bottle me. Okay, there we go. I wanna make sure that we get EXP for this. I don't know how much we're gonna get, but. I just want to make sure that we get EXP for this. Well, too short. And there we go. Everybody leveled up a bunch of times. Uh, not, well, not really a bunch of times, just one. But still, we got our levels up. But the golems were invincible. How did this happen? Rashikal is done for. Is that all you have to say after holding yourselves up here without permission? You should be ashamed. We were doing it for our country. Rashigal's military assets must be protected. Do you truly believe that abandoning the citizens you serve strengthens your country? I... well... Wait. Are you Chief of Staff Hilbert? No, but I used to be. You all are the military of today. And as such, it is your duty to figure out what needs to be done. Understood. The Fort Gondola Guards will reopen the fort immediately. We will resume patrolling the high roads and protecting civilian activities. That takes care of that. That should be a load off your cell shoulders. All right, boys and girls. Well, last. Yeah. What an ordeal. Okay, okay, I want to get the skit. Thank you. Let's get back to Drissel. We have to tell her how great you were. Okay, hang on, hang on, boys and girls. I will be going back to Fenmont to give the, 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 the thingy thingy. You'll see. So he won't come home after all. Mother said she knew that he wouldn't. She said that's the kind of man he's always been, and that's why she married him. Then she died with a smile on her face. I wonder if he'll ever be able to understand why. I mean, if I'll ever be able to understand why. We got a halo. To Drissel. I'll try to. Thank goodness you all made it back. Is anyone hurt? We're fine, my lady. As you can see, we couldn't be healthier. We kicked ten tons of golem butt! Oh, I'm so relieved. You were worried about us? Of course. I don't know what I would have done if you had gotten hurt on my behalf. Facing that pain is one of the gravest duties of leadership. It sure isn't easy. No, it is not. But as long as you feel pain at the suffering of your people, they will always be there to support you. I'll do my best. Just as Klein did. It might be difficult, but we know you can do it. I'm sorry I can't give you the rewards you deserve. Wait, I know. I'll brew up some of my finest tea. Come, let's have a tea party. <laughs> I couldn't ask for a finer reward. Throw in some of those little cakes and you've got a deal. All right, guys, so... I hope you all enjoyed this episode. I won't be going to Balin unless um, I might do that quickly before the n next episode. But I hope you all enjoyed this one and we should be heading to the final area in the next episode. So, see ya.